detached set of of witch hunt. Uh, I have been completely forthright here and in other interviews that uh, Assange is, in my view, a hero. He does not work for the Russians. Let me repeat that. He does not work for the Russians. There's no evidence to the contrary. Uh, he is fighting the deep state. He has leaked documents equally embarrassing to the Bush regime. Uh, and liberals loved him then. But now you see an online effort funded by Soros, run by the money laundering criminal David Brock, to discredit Assange. I actually saw a tweet saying, oh, Assange is, whatever he releases will be fake. No, whatever he releases will be real. Now, an intermediary uh, met with him in London recently, who is a friend of mine and a friend of his, a believer in freedom. Uh, and I am assured that the mother load is coming Wednesday. Uh, it wouldn't be an October surprise uh, if I told you what it was, but I have <laughs> reason to believe that it is devastating because people with political judgment um, who uh, are aware of the subject matter tell me this. So right now you see a terrible scrambling by the Clintonites to attempt to discredit Assange to try to soften the blow. I have said from the beginning that I believe that Mr. Assange has all of the emails that the Clinton hench women, Huma Abedin, who, by the way, was partying with Barbara Bush this weekend in Paris. Yeah, that yeah. That been quite a party. Uh, uh, proving that the Bushes and Clintons are together in a crime syndicate. That's right. Uh, and uh, Cheryl Mills, they thought they destroyed all these emails. They thought they were... Deleted. Bad news. WikiLeaks has them all. It's handcuff time because herein lies the proof of the criminality of the Clintons. Now, we've seen disinformation in the last 24 hours saying that Assange has postponed this. He's moved. I do know this. He does fear for his life and he should. Right now, the globalists and the Clintonites are trying to figure out how to kill him. We know that a man broke into the Ecuadorian embassy uh, and got as far as the second floor before he was detained, but it took the London police almost two hours to respond to the call for help. Even though they have a cordon around the Ecuadorian embassy, they've spent millions of dollars to try to keep Julian Assange in prison there. It took them two hours to respond to this as they were notified they had a break-in. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with Roger Stone and what's coming up on Wednesday. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we're talking to Roger Stone. Today he mentioned that Wednesday was going to be the date for WikiLeaks to release the documents they had on Hillary Clinton. Remember, Julian Assange has been saying for a long time there was going to be an October surprise. It was going to be very damaging to Hillary Clinton. It was going to be the end of Hillary Clinton. So much information was going to come out that uh, to expose her. And I get very concerned, Roger, when I see this. We, we talk all the time about the clear and present danger to Donald Trump's life when he rises in the polls. And, of course, we've seen other instances where we had uh, Andrew Breitbart saying he had some major revelations that were going to come out. And the day before that happened, he died. We, I've been concerned for a very long time about Julian Assange. Safety, as we went to the break, you were talking about how there was an intruder at the Ecuadorian embassy where he's been essentially cordoned by London police. They've spent millions of dollars over the years to keep him imprisoned in that embassy. I know they wouldn't take two hours to respond if Julian Assange began to leave that embassy, but they took more than two hours, even though they're posted right outside the embassy, as you can just see in that picture there. Even though they're posted right outside there permanently, they took over two hours to respond to the fact that there was an intruder there. So I'm very concerned about it, especially the early report said that Julian Assange was going to make the announcement from the balcony at the Ecuadorian embassy. I mean, that sounds like a Martin Luther King moment moment to me. Yeah, I think that uh, that they should rethink that because uh, he is more valuable to the movement uh, alive. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, look, I, I don't want to overstate this because I know that my critics are watching. I don't control Assange uh, and nobody does. He is his own man and he is committed to fighting the deep state. Uh, and he may change his mind about what to put out and when to put it out. But my very best intelligence from a mutual friend who has uh, spoken to him in London is that the mother load is about to come uh, and it will be extraordinarily damning uh, to the Clintons. That's why you see this extraordinary panic 
uh, and why uh, you see the media now wanting to talk about Donald Trump's taxes. Now, 